Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, my channel is involved largely around cybersecurity, IT, and my career. And this video is going to be a special one, guys, because I finally got my first two job offers within cybersecurity for two different entry-level roles. Now, to give you guys some context about me, I am a senior at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. My major is Management Information Systems. And as you guys know, when you're a senior and you have about one semester or two semesters left, that's when you start applying for full-time jobs. And lucky enough, I was able to get two different job offers from two different companies. Within this video, I'm pretty much going to walk you guys through my resume and talk about different things that I believe helped me get these opportunities and also how I performed in these interviews and how I prepared for them as well. To be honest, guys, I hope this video provides you with a lot of value, uh, regardless of your background. If you're someone who is in high school, if you're in college, if you're already in the workforce and looking to make that switch into tech, I hope these tips and this value is really helps you out. Um, if it does, go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 20K. And also go ahead and drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop in my first point. Now, the first thing I want to talk about here and probably what's on your mind is what kind of certifications do I have right now? And to be honest, guys, when it comes to certifications, I wouldn't say I am the most stacked guy. I only have one certification, and that certification is the Google IT Professional Certification. Um, I've reviewed this certification in the past. You guys can check out my past YouTube videos. Uh, but this certification is pretty much an entry-level certification that really uh, anyone uh, can get. Uh, this certification is meant for entry-level professionals, so you don't have to have any background knowledge when it comes to IT. Um, just like I was. When I took it, I had no idea what IT was. I didn't know anything about the... IT fundamentals, and this certification really gave me a basic understanding and, and foundation of exactly how IT works, how networking works, how security works, um, and I highly recommend this certification for you all as well. Now, do I believe that this certification led me to these opportunities and opened these doors for me? To be honest, guys, I'm not sure if this certification led me to getting a job or not. What I am sure about is that when you have a certification, whether it's an entry-level certification or a more difficult and complex uh, certification. Uh, regardless of what it is, if you have a certification on your resume, it shows that you're really taking initiative for your own learning. So you're going out of your way, you're taking your free time to take initiative for your own learning and development. And you're taking these certifications and really uh, prioritizing your education. And when these companies see these certifications on your resume, it really shows them that you're there, you're motivated, um, that you're more than willing to learn. That's huge when it comes to these entry-level roles. They're looking for people who are willing to learn, who are open-minded, uh, and or who already have taken initiative in the past as well. Now, obviously, I'm not going to stand in front of this camera and say that these entry-level certifications are just as good as the more complex ones. Obviously, you want to have as many as you can. Um, you want to have a, a well-rounded, a foundational knowledge of IT. It's really great to have. You can use that knowledge and information uh, to talk about in the interviews as well, which I'll touch on a little bit later on in the video. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and talk about my work experience that I believe has helped me get these opportunities. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while now, you guys would know that I've been working part-time while I'm in college here for almost three years now. So I work part-time at an Apple retail store where I work as a technical expert, where I pretty much consult with customers, uh, talk about their repair strategies, and offer them a couple different solutions um, and also repair different phones. Now you guys might be wondering how exactly does a retail role uh, help you in getting a corporate uh, cybersecurity job? And to answer that question, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story. So when I first started at Apple about three years ago, it was about my, I wanna say sophomore year in college. I was still over at community college. And to be honest guys, I had really no experience when it comes to customer service. Looking back at it, I was someone who was hugely introverted, who struggled carrying conversations with strangers, who was afraid and had kind of anxiety when it comes to social situations. And after this three year period from, you know, me comparing me uh, now to back then three years ago, it's completely night and day change. I think being able to speak to customers, having that customer service experience and having social skills and those soft skills, those intangible skills are extremely important to develop when you're in either high school, college, um, or even if you're in the workforce already. Um, these are important skills to have when it comes to being able to hold a conversation, being able to make a connection with a stranger, uh, being able to approach people and talk to people and network, 
Um, these are intangible skills that really can't be taught, but they're only taught through experience. So the reason why I bring up my work experience, even if it's a retail job, is because it provides me with skills that are intangible, that are just learned through experience and time. Now, the main point that I'm trying to get at right now is a lot of people put emphasis on technical knowledge, learning different things, learning everything about IT. But what's the point of having all this knowledge if you're unable to communicate and work within a team? And to be honest, guys, when it comes to the tech industry, I think soft skills are hugely underrated because at the end of the day, when it comes to actually doing your work, you want to be someone who is likable, who's friendly, um, who people enjoy being around. That's going to open more doors for you and opportunities for you as well. So my recommendation is develop your soft skills just as much as you're developing your technical skills. So this could include going to social events in your professional or your personal life. Uh, this could include networking events, things of that nature, uh, putting yourself in those uncomfortable situations to really grow. Now, just to add on to my work experience here, over the past two summers, I've been interning within a cybersecurity team over at a consulting firm. And this part right here was a huge piece to the puzzle just because these employers love to see it when you already have some prior professional experience working in a team, working in a different company, that you're able to bring that experience and knowledge to the entry-level role. So if you're someone who was in college or in high school, definitely look to get these cybersecurity internships uh, because they will develop you, use them to grow and learn more, and you're able to speak on different experiences that you have later down the line. And these will really set you up for success when it comes to these full-time interviews. Now, this leads into my last point when it comes to interviewing. So let's say you have a bunch of certifications. Let's say you have a tremendous work experience that directly applies to the role. You apply for the role, you end up getting a call back, and you're setting up an interview uh, with this new company. So now that you have this opportunity in your hands, it's up to you to really make the most out of it and perform well in the interview. And to be honest, guys, when it comes to full-time interview experience, I had absolutely none of that. It was completely foreign to me just because I'm a college student who is looking to get their first job. So I had no prior experience. So when it comes to interviewing for these uh, full-time roles, I was pretty intimidated. I had no idea what to study up on, what to expect. Um, and I'm pretty much gonna walk you guys through exactly what I did to set myself up for these interviews. Now, the first tip that I have for you guys is pretty much a mindset switch that I did to myself that I believe helped me throughout these interviews. And with this mindset switch, I want you guys to go in these interviews feeling confident, believing in your ability and your knowledge and believing in your value. Also use these interviews to really vet the company and see if this company is a right fit for you. And what I mean by vetting these companies, I want you guys to use these interviews as an opportunity for you to really see if this company aligns with your own values. And for me personally, I went into these interviews having a set of criteria um, for these companies to see if they really matched with my own personal values. I wanted to see if these companies place an emphasis on personal development and professional development. I wanted to see if they have some benefits for these employees when it comes to uh, prioritizing employee well-being. I wanted to see if they have different programs. I wanted to see what kind of culture they had within the company that will really benefit and allow me to thrive. Having this criteria going into these interviews is really going to place you in a different mindset. You're going to really put yourself in a position where you have the leverage. You have the confidence in yourself to say yes or no to a company. These companies, a lot of times, they have the leverage. They can say yes or no to you. But it's time to turn ourselves, especially when it comes to tech, um, to really take initiative and really put yourself in the position where you're the one bargaining. You're the one that is providing the value. They want you. And I want you guys to put yourself in this mindset. And I think it will really help you in your interviews as well. Now, with the mindset switch aside, I want to talk about exactly what I did to prepare myself for these interviews. Uh, these interviews involve different technical interviews, behavioral case study interviews. With the behavioral interview, I was pretty familiar with, you know, what kind of questions they would ask and how to answer them with the STAR method. But the technical and the case study interview, I had completely no idea what to expect um, and I have never done one before. So when it comes to these situations, when you have no idea what to expect and you have no prior experience, this can be important for you to acquire certain resources to put yourself in the best position to succeed. So when it comes to my preparation for these interviews, I ended up hiring a company called Easy Interview Prep. 
I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Uh, this video is not sponsored at all, uh, but they pretty much walked me through exactly what I needed to know when it comes to preparing for these interviews. They're pretty much a company that helps you prepare and practice for these interviews when it comes to any technical role. So if you're interested in any interview prep, go ahead and check the link in the description below. They will definitely help you out. So I actually ended up booking five different sessions with them. Within each of these sessions, I had a technical interview practice, behavioral interview practice, and case study practice as well. We did a bunch of different mock interviews, a bunch of different practice questions, and really walked me through exactly what to expect within these cybersecurity interviews. With that being said though guys, that is pretty much it for the video today. I hope this video provided you with a lot of value, you learned a lot, and hopefully you can use these tips in your future opportunities as well. But with that being said though guys, go ahead and leave me a like for the YouTube algorithm, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel, we're almost at 20K. But with that being said guys, I'm out. Peace.